Hello everyone, and you are not welcome on this tutorial guys, because I have a trap for you. And once again, <laughs> yeah guys, uh, so lately Mumbo Jumbo posted a video showing us how to make a uh, hidden arrow dispenser or something like that. And inspired by his uh, work I decided to make another one, so I came up with this thing. It will fire very quickly on an arrow on fire. And it's a very cool system, very compact, and I made sure to include almost everything that you might uh, want on such a thing like this. Every little bit, like if you can have a, a lamp here, uh, you, it's very fast, you have a lot of storage here that goes directly into your dispenser and it's compact as well. Uh, you, cannot, you can't see how compact that is from uh, this, but maybe if we head over here you can check it better, have a better view of how it works. So let's try it. Oops, and my computer is freezing once again, I'm sorry guys. As I always say, there's nothing I can do about that, but <laughs> let's just continue. I have no other option. Whoa. <laughs> and also, I uh, just uh, remind, uh, remember that you can uh, replace this block uh, with a dis dispenser. So you can choose between having or not having lava there. So yeah, you can just shoot normal arrows or arrows on fire. So let's build this little thing and I will explain to you how it works. Alright guys, we should be ready for the tutorial now, and I hope my computer will stop freezing. <laughs> so start by having two stick pistons just like this, and we can have uh, our input here with a button, and a redstone torch here, and now place a re uh, repeater on two ticks, and we can power those pistons just like this. Also you can place uh, your horizontal piston here with any kind of block, and finally, just use a uh, redstone block, just like this. Uh, so now to finish things off, yes, this is really quick, guys. Just place your dispenser here, and we should be fine. So, so let's test it. Boom. And we need, of course, arrows here. Uh, I forgot about that. Yep. So it opens and it shoots one arrow. So what happens here, guys, is that when we click this button, we will unpower this piston so this uh, will retract and two ticks later uh, those two will retract so the whole thing will so the path will be open for the arrows to fly and then uh, one tick later uh, this uh, torch will power this dispenser so the, the arrow will be shot one tick later and also this piston is reactivated powering this piece of redstone dust here and it will uh, raise up the piston once again and the system will close quickly without having to wait for those two ticks to happen as you can see here this piston goes back and forth very quickly and also what you can do uh, to make things a little uh, more interesting is to place a solid block here, another repeater here, and now you can place even a redstone uh, lamp here, yeah. And it will, <laughs> it doesn't even get time to go off. And also if you have, if you want a lot of storage, you can just place a hopper here with uh, some chests here. And also uh, to finish things off, we uh, might want to add the lava bucket, alright, so place any kind of block here and the lava is going to inside this spot here and you can also, if you want, uh, use a simple dispenser here and if we now place a button here you can choose between normal, uh, regular arrows or arrows on fire yeah, so let's test it once again mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, it's uh, it would be uh, useful to have a block here uh, just for protection and also because if this dispenser uh, shoots the arrow too high, it will trap the arrow here and not here. As you can see, it will give away that there is a trap here, so it will not happen if uh, you have a, a solid block here. Uh, also, if you just want to troll your friends and don't want to actually kill or hurt them, you can replace those arrows with snowballs, Yeah, because they are just fine. Yeah, and I think that's it for today, guys. This should be your wall, by the way. 
Uh, it's a very simple tutorial and I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. I included a link to Mumble's design, the, the original one. And if you guys want, you can watch that one. And please don't forget to rate this video and come back because I always have cool stuff to show you. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. So if I stay here in the middle of the door and I try to close it, I will drop here to this small platform and this could be a secret place.